fam welcome back to the channel and i hope everybody's doing well so today i have a really really nice product to show you it's actually a prototype that i'm testing for one of my sponsors uh un auto that's their company name they do a lot of major stuff especially with lighting on the cars you've seen it like from my intro they're the ones who gave me my hulk door sills my bruce door sills it's awesome so today the product that i'm testing is their customized door bowl ambient lighting and the door bowl is this portion right here it is the location where your interior door handle is obviously from the time lapse you saw me taking out the window switches and this panel right here in this interior this part right here this is the door bowl and what we're going to be doing they have they made customized lighting just ambient lighting however you want to hook it up if you want to hook it up as a courtesy light you can if you want to hook it up as a running light while the car once the ignition is on it'll have power to it and it'll stay on pretty cool it works with obviously 12 volts and this is the product right here so what i had to do was each car is going to be different so you literally have to measure the interior of the door bowl. Once you contact them, they'll show you exactly what to measure. And they send you out the product just like that. This one in here is for the Subaru. I'm going to be doing this one on Bruce on my 2016 Ram Sport because it's a lot simpler to do. The wires are a lot easier to get to. And I just want to show you just the basis how to hook it up. So things that you're going to need, some door picks. From the time lapse you saw it this will help pry out pretty much anything without marking it up too much rather than using a flathead screwdriver you could possibly need a flathead phillips head depending on uh, the tabs pry tool this is a wire tester right here extra wire in case you need it the wire here is pretty long though and it actually has a tab to plug in but i don't have any plugs for this so i'm definitely going to be cutting this part off the wire is definitely long enough so i might not need any extra wire but obviously some heat shrink in case you need it these are taps your heat gun so and that's pretty much it now i'm going to show you how to test the wires and guys caution in case you're not too versed in wiring or testing wires or anything like that make sure what i'm going to do instead of using this tester i'm going to show you using this one right here because what i'm going to do is this lead can stretch enough to connect to the negative battery terminal so the reason why i'm telling you about this beware of testing there's a lot of pieces on cars that look and feel like metal but they're not good grounds so if you don't ground the tester properly and try to test the wire you can blow a fuse it's happened to me before please beware of that so what i'm gonna do this tester will be long enough and all this stuff will be in the description in the video this test is going to be long enough where i'm connecting this to the negative terminal on the battery in order to be testing the wire so i'll show you just like that i've tested it already so i know what to look for i just want you guys to be safe because you will blow fuses out and sometimes especially if you're not if you're new to this it's a pain in the ass to actually find it so just you know little tidbits here and there all right guys so we're inside the truck as you can see and there's a cluster of wires right here now i connected my wire tester to the negative portion of the battery so i have i know i have a good ground and i don't have to worry about blowing out a fuse or anything so now you want to start testing the wires i've tested the wires prior so on these rams and let's say it's any car you start testing you start testing from the first wire and go down to the end now what you're looking for is what has if anything has power while the car is off and sometimes yes that is the case so this wire right here tap this green one doesn't light up tap this grayish looking one doesn't light up tap this yellow one bam so that the car's off right now and it actually has power going to it so we don't want that now what you want to do so now we the car's off and now we see which wire has power while the car is off so what you want to do now 
is start put the ignition on and see what has power while the ignition is on. And that's the one that we want to tap into. So now we turn the ignition on. Green, nope. Gray, nope. This big wire right here, bam. So this is the one that we're gonna be tapping into, meaning it has power while the ignition is on. And that's it. Check the other wires. This one, nope. This one, nope. 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 So this big wire right here, this is the one that we're gonna use. But for any other car, let me turn this annoying ignition off. So for any other car, guys, you gotta make sure and test the wires to make sure that you just want the one with the, well, I'm using the one when the ignition turns on. And that's it. This black one right here, that should be a negative. Or another way to do it as well is where you can actually take the switch out if you don't want to poke holes in your wires. You could take the switch out. Okay. And the wire runs to the exact hole. So let me show you. Okay. So this is the big one right here. I'm gonna turn the ignition on and show you. So the big wire that we just poked, this is the lead right here, this is the hole. Bam. Works. So that's the one, that's the accessory fuse once the ignition is on. And that's it. Now as I always tell you guys in all my vids, make sure the product works. Negative to negative, positive. Perfect. So we know it works. Okay, so now what I did was I just added, I cut the end. Obviously everything works. I added a little piece of electrical tape right here. So it'll at least camouflage the white piece of the wire because it's not in the back of the piece, it's on the side. So when we bend the wire back, we wanna make sure that the the white is camouflaged so you know you're not seeing it too much you want to be at least a little bit neat too now the good thing about this truck has a lot of space you don't have to drill anything to to bury the wires and send it down on this way look right here so this is where the normal plastic is and now right here oh you can't see it look right here you'll be able to see my finger wiggling down to the bottom so there's a lot of holes and stuff so you don't have to drill anything so it's gonna go like this. You're literally gonna stick the doorbell on. Actually, let me put this piece back. It's gonna go in there. The wire is gonna run through any one of these spaces right here. And once you run the wire down through the spaces, send it down through here, and you tap the wires under here. And I'll show you that real quick. All right, fam, the wiring is done. The white, obviously that's the positive, goes to the accessory wire right here. That gets power when the ignition turns on. The black gets wired to the black ground wire on the switch cluster. And that's it. Now, I'm gonna rip this bad boy off, rip the sticker off. Let's see if we get some power. Here we go. Bam. So once the ignition is on, you have a nice little accessory right here. Ignition off, it turns off. So you don't have to worry about it parasitically draining your battery or anything like that. Guys, as I told you before, just make sure each car is obviously gonna be different. Make sure you take your tester, put it on the proper ground, like I did on the battery, cause you can't get better than that. And test each wire 
for power when the ignition is on. So you turn the ignition on and test these, each wire until you see the test to light up. And that's basically it. Guys, again, thank you Un Auto for sponsoring me these accessories. They're pretty dope. Guys, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Check out Un Auto's website. They got tons of dope additions, obviously, from all my custom door sills. Guys, the key is originality. Originality at its best. You don't want to be the same as everyone else on the market with your truck, with your car or whatever else and this stuff these products right here makes everything stand out you get what i'm saying it's like everybody having superpowers if everybody had superpowers nobody would be super you get what i'm saying all right guys so as you can see the passenger side it's not like the driver's side the passenger side has less wires with the switch cluster and the ground wire was at a place where I couldn't reach it, this wire right here. So I had to take the inside frame off. It's actually very easy to get off. This piece up here just pries off. And then there's six T20 torque screws around. Just take them off and you could pull the, the frame off. So now this is my, you don't need a ground for this because you're grounded to the car once you're holding anything on the car. This tester is pretty dope, and I'll show you why. So right here, we're hot. So this is your constant 12 volt. We don't want that. And I tested this wire over here, and there is nothing while the car is off. Turn to this, press it once, please. Press it once, and we're live right there. Press it twice. One, two, good. So this is the wire right here that we're going to be tapping into when the ignition is on. And then this is the ground wire right here. Alright guys, so what happened was I got carried away with taking out the door and trying to find the appropriate wires inside of it where I forgot to put the, initially put the wires through the hole right here in the door bowl frame. So now all I got to do, I'm, all I'm going to do is just cut it and rejoin it and heat shrink it and then I'll put everything back together. So that's what you're going to see in the next time lapse. All right guys, so the passenger side is done. The passenger side was only a little more difficult than the driver's side because you just had to take out the frame. So just be aware of that. Some cars might be the same, some cars might be a different. There are less controls on this side, so that's why there were less wires in the cluster than the driver's side, and the ground wire was a little bit deeper. But taking this off was not an issue. As I said, it was some T T20 Torx that you have to take out that and all that is it's just holding in a bracket that prevents the plastic from pulling apart that's all it is it's not a really a big deal other than that let me just remove this real quick oh yeah the best part the stickers there you have it push the button damn that's perfect right there and it's not too bright it's not too dim it's like a nice ambient light and once again guys definitely like subscribe and let me know what you think check out un auto's website they got a ton of stuff there and as i said before you're gonna have to send them obviously if you want these things they're only prototypes year make and model and you would have to give them exact measurements of what's going on on the inside and that's it and i'll see y'all soon peace